everyone thank you for clicking on this video thank you for all those who had watched my other videos and also to those who have subscribed to this channel if you're new to this channel please enjoy watching and remember to subscribe so this is another diy face mask video using socks from the dollar tree store diy face mask tutorial requires hand sewing the face mask that i'm using is washable reusable after washing and has a pocket for filter and has a pipe cleaner for the nose bridge this type of socks that i got from the dollar tree has the pattern and design on the sides of the socks so i need to cut this and put them together so that the design will stay in the front to put this together using a scissors start by cutting the toe part of the socks Then start folding the socks like this and cut in the middle. Cut the sides so you'll have two strips of fabric and you can set this aside to use later as ties for your face mask. Using some pins, try to put the two fabrics together like this. Make sure the pattern stays together using a pin, that way they are at the same level. Using pins, pin the right side together. Start folding the strips that you have set aside earlier. To stitch all these preparations together, you need to use the running stitch technique or the back stitch technique. To put these fabrics together, you need to do the running stitch technique. Running stitch technique is simple and easy. You just tap the fabric with a needle and you go in and out or up and down. For more quality, you can also secure the sides with loops. Make sure that each corner is secured 
You can always trim the sides after sewing so that the fabric won't come out thick when you reverse it. To create a pocket for your face mask, you need to fold over and make an overlap. That way, later on, you'll have an opening in the middle to insert your filter. Aside and cut earlier, you need to sew it with a running stitch. You need one end sewn and closed up and the other end open. This will be used as ties for your face mask. You can then start pushing the fabric using a hairpin or a safety pin to push it inside and out. Width of the top tie that I used is 12 and a half inches and the bottom tie is 10 and a half inches including allowance. So before folding your fabric, put the ties and arrange it like this. Make sure both ends are secured on the sides. You can use pins if you want as a guide. And when you start doing the running stitch, make sure that you secure both sides and secure each corners to hold and secure the ties. Our running stitch will be of good quality if your stitches are close together and if you have consistency with the size of your stitches. If you're not used to sewing, I have a separate video. It's a tutorial on these simple stitches, the running and the back stitch. You can check it out if you need to after sewing both sides together and securing each corner you can then start putting your face mask inside and out so you can see here there's a pocket for the filter you can use any filter like a coffee filter or what you think you could use to add more protection You can also use a pipe cleaner and attach it to your face mask. This will help your face mask conform to your nose bridge and to your face to prevent um, anything from penetrating and not create a gap from your mask to your face. Limiter down from the top of your face mask starting from the left the middle and the right so this will help hold the pipe cleaner in place guys in making a face mask sewing is a better thing to do than gluing because glue weakens in time especially after several washes so if you want your face mask to last longer then try sewing it instead of gluing it and the pipe cleaner here really looks good it really conforms to your nose bridge and face not leaving a gap so guys i hope you like this video try not to forget to subscribe for more and thank you so much for watching